Welcome back so soon, I hope. Um, it's time to talk about the second movie I saw on my plane ride, and that is A Good Person, a movie directed and written by Zach Braff of Scrubs fame, a film that I was pretty excited to see uh, based off of everyone involved on the project. Uh, little did I know what I was getting into because, as is usually the case, I don't read or watch trailers for the movies I'm about to watch. Is that a good thing? Maybe. It means I go into there completely unbiased. And this is a film that is really emotional. This is a very tough story to watch and witness. It is heavy topic. It deals with substance abuse. It deals with trauma. It is a very heavy movie. Is it something to watch immediately after a very uplifting coming-of-age story? Probably not, but I did it anyway because I was dedicated to watch this film, and I must say I was not disappointed. It was a very well-told, written, paced film um, with very good performances. Um, but I will break those down as we get to them. As, um, as we start off with the story, it is, as I already said, it is a very sad tale. It is all about the main character who is portrayed by Florence Pugh and how she griefs after a car accident and she becomes drug dependent. She starts seeking out help and encounters an unlikely friend in Morgan Freeman's character who would have been her father-in-law had the cr um, crash car accident not happened. I'm not going to go into more detail about what exactly happened to cause this break in the relationship and why she is not his daughter-in-law, but it is just a tough story emotionally to witness and it is very well told. I will give it a hand grenade score here because it is very, it's a pretty engaging story in my eyes at least, but I've been known to over um, fantasize over these films before, or just films in general. Uh, the cinematics, um, again, not much going on. It's no like it's, it doesn't have a lot visually going on, but it does. it's very well shot. It's a very good movie, but it's not, like, visually engaging at all times. So you may end up taking out your cell phone every once in a while if you're watching this streaming at home. Without, like, enough self-control, you'll probably end up taking out your phone. But it's good enough to be passable. I'll give it a Hot Pocket score here, as you will get sick of it if you keep doing it over and if you keep watching it over and over and over and over again um next let's talk about the directing i think zach braff does a great job with this film and it does he deserves some credit especially with how he paced it in the writing as well very good directorial action from zach braff here and i will give it a hand grenade score there um acting i will give a hand grenade score because i just need to say two names and that is all I need to talk about the acting in this film and that is Florence Pugh and Morgan Freeman. No more needs to be said there. They kill it and I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying maybe Oscar nom, but the only Oscar noms I'm really confident in are everything involving Oppenheimer and maybe Ryan Gosling as Ken. I hope so. I really hope that happens. Oh, and of course Peaches and um, I'm just Ken for best song at the Oscars. Those are clear-cut favorites to be nominated and potentially win. Um, so let's talk about my expectations and experience. Again, I'm not going to really factor in experience all that much because, again, plane ride, uncomfortable seats. Of course, that's going to hamper the viewing experience, but let's talk about my expectations. It was not what I expected, but to be fair, I didn't have expectations, and it sort of surprised me. Um, it was much sadder than I expected, and I really don't... I love the title because it really makes me think the opposite of the title. Um, these people are not good person, um, but it is very enjoyable otherwise. I do recommend it. 
um, it did surprise me. Um, expectations, I will give it a Hot Pocket score, mostly because I'm not very much in the sad movie genre. I'm very much an upbeat, happy movie guy. Um, but other than that, I will give this film as well a certified Hot Pocket score. This is a certified Hot Pocket movie. I recommend you check it out every once in a while, just to like remember, and if you're going through some shit, it's a good watch. Um, but other than that, uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below if you're willing to watch it or if you've already seen it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll leave you guys to it.